we've not been getting that many eggs. Actually, we've been getting basically no eggs for several weeks. Mine, since that first really big cold. Since the first um, spell of really cold weather, we've not gotten eggs. Before that, our pullets down the hill were laying fairly consistently several eggs a day. We really should be getting eggs now, so we're kind of puzzled. Are the chickens eating eggs? We know now that they're not laying them off in the barn or off in the woods because we've kind of, in the past week or two weeks, gotten our chickens all inside fences, except for Bonnie and Clyde who just, they get out whenever they want. So we're kind of puzzled as to why we're not getting eggs. And then I was walking in the yard this evening and I found this little pullet egg. And I was really quite pleased. I don't know if this means they're starting to lay or what, but this was in the yard and I can only guess that this is Bonnie's egg because she's one of the pullets and it's obviously it's a pullet egg because it's smaller than a uh, more mature chicken egg. A pullet, Joyful, is a new laying hen. It's a hen under a year. So a hen that's less than a year old, that's what a pullet is. We've actually had to go to the store and buy chicken eggs. Well, I refused to for some time until I wanted to bake something the other day. I, I am not gonna feed chickens, pay to feed chickens, and pay to buy eggs. So here is the pullet egg next to what's just a regular kind of large egg from the grocery store. And you can see the size difference is pretty significant. A pullet egg is smaller and wider. Um, a hen's egg is bigger and darker. Hey bright boy, what happened to this egg we got? You don't know? I think letting kids handle eggs is actually kind of a neat way to teach responsibility. I don't want to take this to an extreme and have broken eggs everywhere, but it's a small thing you can let them do that comes with a little risk and they can learn to handle eggs properly. It's busted. So it got dropped on the kitchen floor. So our first egg, you could call this our first egg of this season, is going to the pigs tomorrow. I'm gonna put it down into the pig bin, which is overflowing nearly. We'll let you know how the egg situation is coming along. I plan to build a little bit bigger chicken coop with more laying boxes and put all the chickens together um, in the garden for now. Bree is looking beautifully pregnant here, as you can see in her nice black dress. What are you cooking? Uh, roast, leftover roast and chicken. kale. It's not chicken, it's beef. For an anemic mommy, this is all I want to eat. I have pregnancy anemia and this is all I want every day, all day long. <laughs> Dinner's ready. So a lot of y'all have asked how pregnant mama's doing and how the pregnancy is going. That's really part of the answer. Brianna's got anemic with every pregnancy and it's, it's fairly a common thing with pregnancy um, as there's an increased demand for blood volume. And so women's hemoglobin tends to drop down throughout pregnancy and Brianna tends to get it pretty badly. So she's been taking iron supplements and greens and beets and she always wants to eat meat, which is great because I like to eat meat too. <laughs> so we've been eating a lot of venison, quite a bit of beef. Is that delicious? Don't you love how he puts it on the fork with his hand? It's very cute. <laughs> Are you eating the greens or just the meat? I saw him eat a couple greens. Meat. 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 <laughs> I'm so excited. I can do that. It's so I simple. I know. It's so good. It's like five minutes. Well, because I had leftover meat. So I cooked a roast yesterday <clears throat> and then I saved all the juices from that and then that's what I cooked the leftovers in today. That's why it's so good. So all those herbs and butter that I cooked the roast in are in this. Sounds delicious. It's so good. Yes, we too sometimes have trouble getting our kids to want to eat healthy. But tonight, not only is everyone a member of the Clean Plate Club, we just joined the Clean Skillet Club. <laughs> They ate, they just gobbled it. Everyone liked it. I know. Even the people who didn't think they were gonna like it, liked it. Everyone usually likes kale. I have a hard time getting people to eat Swiss chard. What's she looking at? 
She's she's saying that they look pregnant to her. Rosie, Lady, and Coco. Mm -hmm. They do look pregnant. This is Facebook. Yeah, my friend was asking me their due dates again, and then she sent me pictures. And they're doing good? Yeah, they look great. She was asking me if I think they look pregnant. And it's they really kind of always look pregnant. A full Nigerian goat looks pregnant. Yeah. It's just a wet and rainy time of the year. So we've spent maybe a little more than usual time inside. And one thing we're doing is looking at chicken catalogs and seed catalogs and thinking about what we want to grow and raise this year. Murray McMurray chicken catalog. Grace wants to get these ducks, Cayuga ducks. She's actually planning to get several of those. Cackle hatchery catalog. Stark Brother catalog. Cox's Orange Pippin. Maybe a Wolf River. And one of these, maybe a Golden Russet or a Grimes Golden. We're really hoping to get blueberries in the ground this year. So True Seed, a local seed catalog. One of my garden goals this year is to plant enough kale to eat all the kale we want. The beautiful Baker Creek catalog. Southern Exposure Seed Exchange, they're out of Virginia. And last but not least, the Fedco Seed Catalog. Not only is there great information on every variety and also on how to grow all the seeds, there's also really interesting little articles, like here's one on seed migration. And then the back of the Fedco catalog is actually the organic grower supply and moose tubers. And it runs the other direction. Those are just a few of the catalogs that we're really enjoying this year. And we're really looking forward to gardening in our spare time around all the animal care we have and having a baby. Well, we'll see which one's the hobby and which one's the main focus. <laughs> Yeah. Is having kids a hobby? <laughs> no. <coughs> is homesteading a hobby? I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, this has been another great day in the homestead. This is one of the only videos that we've shot, at least recently, all indoors. We will see you in our next video. So have a good night. Ooh.